seven projects already under implementation. If you look around the town, the city, you will see that two of the multi-level parkings are the progress of the work is very good, I should say. From the earlier one-storied brown project that was led behind, now you can see that both locations have fifth stories coming up in a matter of some 11-12 months. In the old medical directorate location, you would have seen that the ramp is also now being constructed. Then uh, the most visible one is also around the stretch between Classic Island and the box cutting area, where under the beautification of Kohima Phase 1, uh, road widening, uh, then beautification of that stretch uh, has started since a year back. Mm, we, we would have re recollected that last year, the monsoon played a big nuisance. We could not uh, really work in that uh, monsoon season. So we are a little behind schedule, but uh, we are hopeful that by October, November 2020, that is this year, this project will also see its completion. Then the cultural hall, which was also another brown project under Amrut, we have taken up. Work, civil works have started. Then uh, the Wi-Fi of uh, Kohima City, which was launched on the 31st of November, um, it's progressing very well. Uh, we are certain that uh, within the time frame of, uh, if I recollect correctly, in a couple of months' time, everything will be in place. The progress, sorry, of the Beautification phase one, just now is 65% only. Uh, so we have extended a period of six months more to the uh, contractors and within which we are certain it will be completed. Then the very ambitious 131 crore project uh, of uh, Kohima Smart City is the uh, ICCC, Integrated Command and Control Center. It's starting off well uh, for logistic reasons, like I, I, at the risk of repeating the monsoon plate, have all the roads were uh, not pliable for many months. Last year, we could not trans transport in the goods and the requirements of the ICCC component. But now that the season has improved, pace of the work has increased tremendously. February 2020, we are targeting that a few components of the ICCC would go live, would go live. And uh, hopefully by the end of, later part of this year, the whole ICCC would go live, functional, all the components of the ICCC. That is uh, another project which is on. We have also started work at the area-based development colonies with the uh, civil work starting in New Market Colony, construction of a community hall come parking facility. So these are the few projects that are ongoing. Um, we are already preparing, rather we have prepared seven DPRs and submitted it to the government for onward submission to the ADB, Asian Development Bank, through which the state share would come in. That is close to 500 crores. After that, we are now preparing, we are onto the second stage of preparation of our DPS for the remaining smart city projects. Just now, I would say that all the projects uh, that I've mentioned we have released an amount of about 79 crores in totality for all the uh, projects that are under implementation. Those would be in the form of uh, running bills, mobilization advances. Yeah. At the local level, I'd say, yes, land holding, uh, land holding 
land holding is uh, a major problem everywhere in Nagaland, not only in Kohima, because of the peculiar and typical land holding system that we possess. Besides that, the uh, cooperation of the locals this time, at least uh, in connection to smart city, has been very, very good, very, very positive. At the local level, uh, we do not have any problem. One big problem that we are facing is that uh, the state government is not able to cough up its uh, state share. That's, uh, that's not because the state government does not want to, but uh, because of the financial con condition that the state is in. This is one of the major concerns that we have been facing. The ministry also has been persistently reminding us about this factor. And thankfully, the state government has initiated to take loan from the ADB, which uh, perhaps uh, in the course of time, before it's too late, I think that would be true. Beyond that, uh, well, uh, at the managerial level, I'd say uh, we fall short of many uh, expert hands because on the one hand, when the state share does not come in, we do not have enough fund to buy experts from the market. We have to only bank on the officials that the state government can spare through its department. And within that also, uh, another uh, issue that crops up is we don't have the luxury of uh, able to choose whom we want. So we are satisfied with what we get. Vegas cannot be choosers like they say. So um, I'm not trying to uh, belittle the stuff that I have. But keeping in view the, uh, the hugeness Keeping in view the prestige of the project, uh, I think Kohima Smart City should also be meant by uh, some of the best uh, technological brains and hands. So that, that is one factor where I thought we can improve. There's a lot of room for improvement there in that sector also. Otherwise, um, so far, God willing, it's been. We are trudging along slowly, and uh, we were very happy, pleasantly surprised to uh, learn sometime in September of last year that uh, we are ranked at least uh, within the Northeast, the number one. Uh, we probably must have uh, reached uh, and uh, achieved certain milestones which the ministry would consistently pour on us to perform. So that's one, I should say, that's one, that's one of the 